Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier this week, Microsoft released the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build, 25295, which they rolled out to the Dev Channel Insiders. Now, um, the build did include one or two new features, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description. But just to highlight a couple of the hidden features that did not make it into the change log, and Microsoft didn't officially recognize these features uh, in the official release notes and change log, and hidden features, as you may know, could be um, code and features that Microsoft is working on internally, but basically hasn't activated yet in the operating system. So there are three uh, new hidden features that Microsoft could be working on internally in Bolt 25295. And the first um, was spotted by the Windows enthusiast who posted recently over on Twitter, Albacore. And um, it could be possible to control RGB accessories on Windows 11. And that will be uh, possibly in the future without using any third-party apps. Now, um, if we head over to the first screenshot, here you'll see a new lighting page found uh, in the personalization page and on the personalization page. And by the way, all of these hidden features were enabled using Vav Tool in case you were interested. Now, here we can see a, a lighting section uh, in the personalization page um, of the actual settings menu in the operating system. And yeah, it lists um, your different lighting devices connected to your machine, which will give you different customization options when clicked. So um, as an example, uh, the next screenshot, if you click on Gaming KB, that um, takes you to the next screen. And yeah, we can see um, this page includes settings for brightness, uh, for lighting effect, for uh, effect speed, color, and also match my Windows accent color. So... Um, as mentioned, these RGB lighting customization options are not mentioned in the changelog, but are hidden features. And so, as mentioned, um, Microsoft could be working on um, a possibility to control RGB accessories uh, in the operating system without using any third-party apps in the future, which um, I think would be especially, especially useful uh, for uh, users who are actually gaming on their PCs. So for gaming um, users that I think having a variety of lighting accessories, as we can see, might be a handy option in the future. And then moving on to the next hidden feature, it's to do with the suggested actions. Now, as many of you may know, um, uh, suggested actions give you um, quick actions when highlighting specific text in the operating system. So as an example, uh, you can um, call a selected phone number or create a calendar entry uh, with the highlighted date or time. So here we can see um, on the and in the clipboard page, in the system um, page, and on the system page, uh, clipboard page, here we see a suggested actions. And uh, um, here we can see where we can actually toggle the different suggested actions on and off, which I think will be a nice move in the right direction if this ever did roll out to the stable version. Uh, so you can turn suggested actions on and off. And obviously, this is a hidden feature in uh, Dev Channel Build 25295. And then for your phone number, date and time, search address, you can choose which of these you would like to leave on. And you can then obviously, um, depending on your own personal choice, you can toggle these on and off uh, to suit your own personal needs in the operating system regarding suggested actions. So I think that might be a handy option, just giving you a couple of customization options if and when that ever did roll out. And then uh, the last two screenshots, this is to do with the actual Windows activation troubleshooter when you're activating um, your operating system. And here we can see this is, the, this is the old design, which and this is what it currently looks like in the stable version of Windows 11 and other preview versions of Windows 11. And now if we head to the last screenshot here, we can see um, that Microsoft is working on now modernizing the Windows Activation Troubleshooter dialog box and menu box, which just brings, obviously, here we can see a light and a dark theme. And compared to the previous, just looks a little bit more modern to match the look and feel of Windows 11. So those are just some hidden features, as mentioned, that were spotted uh, by Windows enthusiasts uh, in the latest Dev Channel Build 25295. And uh, um, the uh, suggested actions and the actual Windows activation troubleshooter were spotted by Phantom of Earth over on Twitter. And as mentioned, the actual RGB lighting page with those different customization options for lighting devices was spotted by Albacore over on Twitter. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.